Hello there, YouTube. I am Jensen, and welcome back to Recipe for Disaster. Uh, where I left off was a few minutes ago, here, in the main menu. Now, I've figured out how to remove the horrible FPS counter in the corner. I think it was just one of the F keys that I'd accidentally pressed while I was mashing buttons to figure out what to do. Now, I uh, am going to start a new game, a new scenario of the family business, and I'm actually going to try. I'm going to try and make food that isn't ass. I'm, I'm going to try and sell anything that's not deep fried butter. Well, actually, deep fried butter was our big seller, wasn't it? Uh, but I'm, I'm going to try not to diversify so many different ingredients. And the reason for this is we had so much storage that we were struggling to fill that we weren't actually creating the meals to sell to customers. And that's a big no-no. Uh, so the objectives are still the same. I also managed to remove the big FPS count in, in the corner. Um, oh, no, I mentioned that. Also, uh, I've had blood taken two times in the last four days, so <laughs> my memory is worse than its usual horrid uh, history. Uh, popularity of 3% or less. We actually almost hit that in our last playthrough. We got 6%, which is not amazing. <clears throat> uh, okay, so here we are back again. Uh, torn into pieces. Can't deny it, won't pretend. I thought you were the one. We'll go ahead and we'll move these mirrors from the back rooms back into the front of house because they should not be there anyway. Uh, I'm going to move this cactus. In fact, I might even sell it because we kind of need the space over here for the toilets, uh, which means we also need a floor. Where is the floor? And floor. All right, uh, let's get the one that is already thematically consistent with the one we have on the ground. This one? No, <laughs> it's not that one at all. Piss. Is it this one? No, but this one might actually be nicer for the entire restaurant, so let's just paint the floor. I mean, what's the harm? It's a dollar per, per tick. Uh, we'll go ahead and we will try and build a couple of walls. Oops, that's paint. Yeah, and here, and we'll actually put some doors on here as well. Now, I also found that there is a way to change the walls, the wall view, which is good. So we'll uh, take a look at our controls. Key bindings, sorry. Um, where was it? Shift? No. Switch wall hiding. Z. This is fine. So now we can actually see the walls, which means we can actually paint the walls. Uh, we'll just go for anything, really. I think this is the one we've actually got. And no, it's not. Uh, but we'll paint everything this color anyway because we've already started, and I'm stubborn. It's kind of like The Sims at this point, isn't it? I do quite like the feel of this game. If I'm quite honest, the actual game itself quite nice. I really, really like that the developers have kind of taken The Sims and turned it into a management simulator rather than the actual Sims. Uh, I don't think we'll have another just door frame because that was a stupid idea. And we might have doors that aren't, you know, see-through. So let's uh, take these doors. We'll stick one here. We'll stick one here. Even though it costs 300 bucks, I think it's worth it. And we'll also uh, lower these walls a little bit. Perfect. And we'll buy two toilets. Although we don't really want to give anybody any toilets. Restrooms. There we go. Toilet. One toilet. Two toilets. Perfect. Uh, we can't perform grill, which is um, pretty funny. We'll try and move these deep fryers. And we'll have kind of like another little gap to this window here. Because I think we lost a lot on this. Uh, we'll move this wine bottle rack onto this window right here because it's funny. Maybe it'll cast some nice light across the floor. Increase ambience. Uh, what do I know? What else do we want to do? Probably want to possibly get rid of these individual fridges and get one really big fridge as well. Uh, we are going to completely redo the menu as well before we start the game. And we're also going to get some appliances. A, I think it's... What was it? We need a grill. I know we need a grill. But I think also an assembly station. Yeah, a countertop.
we'll do a lot of preparation stuff as well because I think this is going to be the um, the overpowered item that we just deal with. Uh, we try, we'll try not to block off these actual uh, grilling items here. And what do we want? To do? We want to make sure we've got enough staff. Now I did say I was going to. You know what? I'm actually going to do that now. I'll save the game right here. Save. Yes, I want to save. And I'm going to go back to the menu. And I'll show you the uh, character creation screen because it's kind of what the fuck. <laughs> it's back. Oh, this is a plague, isn't it? Uh, let me just hit all the F buttons. I know F10 is hide HUD. Okay, I screenshotted. Whoops. Uh, we'll we'll change the um the character a little bit. Skills. I don't think we want to make cleaning hated. I think we want to make maybe the fryer the hated one. And cleaning is actually a really handy skill to have. So we'll we'll have um. I'll just be front of house. I think this is going to be the way. Uh, I'll set this one to one so I can set serving to three because that's going to be my my bread and butter. And then I'll set charisma to two. And I want to love these. Okay, I got two loved skill and one hated skill. So this is basically going to be front of house sorted. Okay, we'll continue because I'm pretty sure we only have one save. This FPS counter is really annoying, honestly. Uh, that's, that's a nasty bug. Uh, we'll take a look at the staff. Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll go back into this little menu here and we'll set some cleaning places first. I'll do all of the stuff that I'm supposed No, I can't. I have to open this door first. Uh, all right, so we got an oven and a fryer, which is he's really good at both of these. There's also a party monster. Arrive late and leave early. Uh, that's not ideal. How about Yuki? Yuki's a pretty good fryer. She's a pretty balanced, honestly. She's good at countertop stuff too. So she's also unfriendly. We'll avoid conversation. Oh, that's fine. I relate to that. Uh, we'll hire her. Right here. $2.65 an hour. That's fine. Anthony Griffin uh, looks... I, don't, I wouldn't hire this man. Uh, Emily Wagner, pretty good at frying and grilling. Uh, pretty much good at everything except countertop work. She's also a workaholic. Which is not good because they uh, cut their breaks short. Hayley Woods, pretty balanced, but hates one of the main stuff that we want to do. So maybe not. She's also proactive, which will serve random tables if idling. That's actually not bad. I'll tell you what, we'll get her in as kind of like a cleaner because you don't need high skill to be a cleaner. Uh, Hayley Woods is going to be our cleaner. So let's uh, start the day, open. We'll immediately pause, staff, no, cleaning areas, that's what we want, right here. And we'll set all of this as one area. Hayley Woods. And we'll set another one for the back rooms, uh, which can not only be Hayley Woods, but also Yuki Mills, because she's a chef, and if she's not doing anything, we want to uh, basically on this at all times. So the way that I'm going to be kind of working this one is I'm going to hire staff when I need them. Yeah. Uh, build on mode. We'll move this table slightly out of the way. Maybe here. And I think we should get a couple of others. A couple more. Because we still have a grand. Yeah, I, th I think we'll just get a, a few tables, honestly. That'll be the best decision. Rack up this one, we'll rack up this one. Perfect. And now we'll assign uh, me as the prime, uh, what, discriminator? Or not? Here we go. Where's Jensen? He loves this job. There we go. I wonder if there's like a global um, setting where we can set people to, to just do jobs as they pop up. But probably not. Management simulators kind of go on micromanagement. Uh, Yuki Mills, I'm pretty sure, is our boss chef, right? Yuki? 
Yeah, she's pretty good, actually. Uh, we'll have Yuki on pretty much everything. And if we get overwhelmed, we'll just deal with it as it comes. There we go. I think this will be the way. Uh, now we want to take a look at the recipes, don't we? So recipes that we already have, these ones. We could sell these ones as kind of like a base. Because you're usually given pretty good ones. Uh, grilled chicken leg, that's fine. Super fried chicken. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we could probably edit this one. That's if all. Chicken wing and chicken breast. What? Where are the chicken legs? Boom. It's chicken. Uh, and an egg. Uh, all deep fried. And I'll tell you what. We're going to... I think we'll deep fry it again. Yeah. We'll deep fry everything twice. And the second time we deep fry it, I think we'll deep fry it in uh, maybe... Some nice spices, like uh, smoked paprika, and jalapenos, and cumin, and what else is unbearably hot? <laughs> uh, I think olive oil. There's no gluten in olive oil, come off it! Uh, pepper. And mustard. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be like a sauce mustard, not the ones you get in the jars. The actual mustard. Uh, I love this. I love the idea of this. Um, so this is like super spicy wings. We'll give it the appearance of wings so we know what people are eating when they order it. And we'll save it. <clears throat> uh, we also want to go back to uh, what we called it before, which was Kentucky fucking chicken. You even get the child of the chicken when you cook it. You get the whole damn thing. All right, uh, we'll save it. Cook your time, four minutes, great. It costs nine minutes to make, that's fine. Uh, I think of the menu editor, we also want to take the global markup down to 450% because that's just, it's just extortion. Uh, grilled chicken leg, let's change this one. It's literally just one grilled chicken leg. Let's also put some chili powder on it. No, actually, we'll make this one kind of savory, I suppose. Smoke paprika. What? Spiced. Yes, it is spiced, I suppose. Chili powder. Uh, like a nice mild jalapeno pepper. And, of course, some... <laughs> coffee. That'll wake you up. Awesome. Um, so we probably want to have this as the appearance of chicken as well. It's a chicken leg. It's weird. All right, let's have it as chicken nuggets. And we'll save it. Now, look, I said we weren't going to do this, but I, I did lie. I, d I did literally just lie uh, to everybody. So I'm, look, I'm really sorry to everybody out there who, I, who I've lied to and I've cheated, but I'm, I'm doing it. So... Uh, you can't stop me. Uh, we'll maybe keep this, this crappy fish here. Tasty clams. Yeah, but where's the taste? Boil, why do people boil sea bass? I'm pretty sure that's not how you cook any fish. Place your toilet's done that. Uh, increase price of three dishes. No, not yet. Uh, we'll do that when we increase our popularity. Uh, we'll do one more recipe i think your recipe and this one's of course going to be um one that we're all familiar with a nice delicious uh dish that all of us would probably order if we saw it on a menu uh butter deep fried like four sticks of butter i think Yeah, and then also some deep fried cheese. In fact, 
Let's deep fry the butter with the cheese. We'll have like a, an assortment of cheeses. Uh, this mozzarella would be delicious, deep fried with butter, and also parmesan, deep fried with butter. Yeah, this, this sounds delicious. It, it does contain lactose, but uh, if, you, if you don't know that by ordering sticks of butter and cheese deep fried, you've only got yourself to blame. Excellent. Uh, do we want like a side, like a nice dish as well? Like something to dip it in? Why am I looking for chat? <laughs> this, is a, this is a YouTube thing. Uh, we'll prepare a nice cream cheese and we'll put some nice uh, ingredients in it like, um, what do we want? No, I think this is going to be it. I, th I think this is just the dish, right? Okay. Um, fried cheese. And butter. Sticks. Delicious! And we'll get one more new recipe because I've, I've just had a burst of inspiration. Uh, burger bun. Prepared, of course. Over here. Uh, and we want to put some ingredients in between the burger bun, such as butter, uh, deep fried butter, two of them, two deep fried butters, and of course, um, hmm, what else? A block of cheddar. Deep fried. Delicious. Now, I think we should probably put some sauces with this uh, delicious meal as well. So let's also stick in some extra virgin olive oil. Grilled. <laughs> hey, it's vegetarian. No, it's not. It's not vegetarian. Butter's a, a dairy product. So it's cheese. Wait, can. Did Sherians eat, eat dairy products? This is a meat, isn't it? Doesn't the FDA uh, classify cheeses and butters as meats? I know they classify honey as meat. Let's see if this game knows that. It does not. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, uh, we'll call this the Butter Burger. It is... It's exactly what you'd expect. It's a butter burger. Great. Now let's check the menu and see if we're selling it all. I think we are. We've got these tasty clams here, which I think are foul. Yuck. Now, I think we want to increase our storage, don't we? But not by much. Actually, I don't think we do. But we definitely want to keep a global uh, minimum of like 10 things. Ah, shit. We need another fridge. That's fine. We can actually afford this. For once, appliances, fridge. No, let's get a double door fridge. Let's 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 go extravagant. Oh, I love the transformers sound that that happens when you place that. Uh, we've got fifty six bucks left. Uh, that's not great. It feels bad actually. It feels real bad. Uh, we'll see how we go, because I'm pretty sure that this may actually be the one that passes us. We actually did do some things right. Look, all of these people are quite happy. I'm still at the front of house. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's coming in yet. The people who come in tend to have these like big yellow bars above their head, like this guy here. This guy a chef. This is a chef. Why is he choosing to come into mine? He hates lettuce and chicken legs. Oh. He loves boiled sea bass. What the fuck is wrong with these people? This is disgusting. Who's his friend? Loves pasta. Oh, sh we don't we don't sell that, do we? Do we want to? Let's check our storage. Yeah, we can sell pasta. Uh, pasta's uh, desiccated. Well, it's not intentionally desiccated. It's just dried, so it, it tends to keep without being refrigerated. Uh, we'll create a new recipe then, and we'll call it pasta. Uh, I highly doubt you guys will ever guess what's actually going into this dish. 
salad, soup, fish and salad. Complex pasta. Perfect. Now, first, I think we want to start by, let's make a nice luxurious pasta. So pasta's a grain. We'll chicken here for the pastas. We could do dried spaghetti, which is uh, quite delicious, but it does contain egg. Vegan. This game. All right, let's, let's get some dried spaghetti. We'll boil it to perfection and we'll boil it with some uh, soy sauce. Yummy, yummy, that's how I cook mine. And some paprika, which is also how I cook mine. And we wanna serve it with some meat, don't we? How about... Oh, perfect. I mean, we've got this one right here, this perfect one. Um, so we're just, gonna, we're just gonna get this one and we're going to stick it right there. Uh, I think we want to probably sear it, right? Yeah, we'll sear the meat. And yeah, we'll stick some nice um We'll stick some we'll stick some nice uh some nice herbs with it too. Maybe some or some Worcestershire sauce. I also saw a meme some years ago that said if you can pronounce Worcestershire sauce, then uh you speak parcel tongue. So, uh, Harry Potter fans out there, I, um, I'm the bad guy. Or I'm the good guy, because Harry also spoke Parcel Dunk, didn't he? I wonder how the movies went. <laughs> I saw the first couple, and I was a wee bit disappointed by them, and then uh, uh, I just kept reading the books. Now, we probably want to cook this in some kind of, like, um, some kind of pasta sauce, right? So where are the tomatoes at? A tomato is, in fact, a fruit, so we'll probably find it right here. What? Where's the tomato? Don't tell me it's in the vegetables. No! What is... This game! This game knows nothing! Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, how do we want to do this? We probably want to, um... I suppose we want to boil the tomatoes. And, uh, oh, portobello mushroom. Portobello mushrooms. Is that how you say it? What is portobello? A bit of garlic. Yummy, yummy. And an onion. Where are the onions at? It's not a fruit, is it? Oh, God, don't. It... Is it actually a fruit? Oh, thank God. I don't see it. Oh, brown onion. There we go. Yum. Uh, that's delicious. And we'll serve it with a, uh, a nice side as well. Now, we don't want to put these together, do we? We want to, um, we want to prepare them all together. Yeah. This is the way, I think. Uh, let's, let's have a nice side as well. What's really, really good with, uh, with pasta? Hmm. Maybe it, well, no, not a meat. Like a nice finger food, possibly, I'm thinking. How about some pink shrimp? <laughs> that is so stupid. Yeah, pink shrimp. Or clams. Clams actually wouldn't be too bad with a pasta. Uh, raw asparagus, maybe? Or a raw brown onion? Oh, it's gross raw, apparently. Weird. We could serve lettuce just to piss off that guy who hates lettuce. Or a potato? These aren't gross raw. Come on. Pumpkin, tomato. How about a whole pumpkin? I don't. Let's just prepare it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's balanced. It has a whole pumpkin in it. <laughs> All right, let's save this. Um, pasta with 
whole pumpkin. So, now let's see if we can um, accommodate the storage for this. Oh, we need some dry storage. When we just... Oh, we'll get it soon, I think. No, we need build mode, don't we? For the dry storage. It's right here. It's 300 bucks. That's fine. We'll save up. Oh, we just lost lots of money. We're at minus 180 in the hole. Which is not great. <coughs> but as soon as we get the storage, I think, basically, we just make everybody happy. We pay everybody like $5 an hour. Which would probably pay for itself. I'm not even doing anything. Neither is Haley. She should be doing a lot of things. Alright, what's what's this guy order? Oh, he actually got the pasta! Cool! He's, he's eating the pasta with a whole pumpkin. That's hilarious. I don't know what this guy is. He's just hanging out. Okay, what's his face here is off to the toilet. What are you making, buddy? What are you making? I wish there was like a, um, a kind of list of all the things that I need to make. Okay, I'm gonna speed up time. Yuki's slow as fuck. Ah, uh, she's gone. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, maybe we should get one more chef, because I think that's our choke. I don't want to overexpand, but it's it's pretty clear we need another. This guy's pretty good, actually. Uh, fryer, oven, stove, countertop. He does everything. Uh, he's the party monster. And he's three bucks an hour. It's pretty insane. Oh, this guy sucks. She's not great, Emily Wagner. But she's certainly cheaper than... Oh, this guy's probably worth the money, actually. Let's just get him. All right, Bevan Marotta, you are now a chef. You better get here on time, or I swear to God, I'm docking his wages. Here we go. All right, let's see if this pays off, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that once we have the infrastructure in place... It's just going to be fine. All right, Bevan is nailing his job right already. Okay, that cost us a bit of money. Good on you, Bevan. If you end the day in the red, you'll go broke. Uh, consider selling some objects. I don't really want to. We'll see how we go at the end of the day. Because we could probably sell one of those preparation counters, or even one of those deep fryers. But I don't think it's necessary. Okay, there we go. I think we just made one of these uh, delicious pastas with whole pumpkin again. Let's see. Yeah, this guy's got a pasta with whole pumpkin. Oh, what the fuck? This lady's eating. Hot squid. Hot squid? We sell that? Why do we sell that? Why do we sell hot squid? Let's edit this recipe. Uh, to make it actually look like a fish. Fruit salad, fish and chips. Uh, let's actually do this and then also we'll have some uh, chips as well. So, what are they called? Fries, right? Potato fries. I uh, will fry these. Deep fry these. Yeah. I think this is the way. Here we go. We'll save this. And now people can have a uh, staple of New Zealand culture. Fish and chips. Delicious. Uh, wet clients are now going to become impatient because of the snowy weather. Which is strange. Hey, we got two stars from that one. That's wait, that's twice as good as we had last time. So uh, we are actually doing better. I can't prepare the Kentucky fucking chicken, sadly. Uh, probably because the food storage is so low. <clears throat> we are taking a dip in popularity. But at the same time, it's actually going up because all these people are uh, leaving fairly nice reviews. Uh, this lady's ordered a huge bowl of pasta. God knows why. We haven't given a single person food poisoning either, which is also really funny. Awesome. Uh, it stopped snowing. Actually, here in Dunedin, New Zealand, where I'm at, we've had a four-day snowstorm, which has been pretty insane. I'm just looking outside at the, uh, the main house that my flatmates all live in, and the whole thing is wet. <laughs> It doesn't happen much. 
Well, I say that. We do have sideways rain. It's called sleet. Actually, I've got a funny story about this. I went to the United States uh, with my girlfriend, Sam, because she's from the United States. And I went to go up there to uh, meet her family. <coughs> kind of while they were going through some, um, some unfortunate instances with uh, her grandparents. But... The, uh, there were a couple of her family members who refused to drive out in California because there was a cloud in the sky, like one tiny little wispy cloud, and they looked at that and they thought, it's going to rain. <laughs> I don't want to drive in that. Okay, I don't know when we close. It looks like we've got another chance. But I think we're actually going to be in a net positive by the end of the day. <coughs> At least I'm hoping so. I may have created a bunch of absolutely foul and disgusting dishes, but that's just my style. I am the Gordon Ramsay of vomiting. And as soon as these people will pay for their meals, uh, I think we'll go into a, a positive, a positive cash flow. Oh, so close! Get all this away. Hey, I think we can afford our stuff for the next hour as well. Why am I bored? What are my thoughts? Running low on ingredients, we need more storage space. I mean, this is true, actually, but we should have this all sorted tomorrow. Uh, happy when all tables are occupied. Yuki is our star chef. Uh, so we'll slow down time so we can see this. Increases the number of customers coming into the restaurant. That actually... That would be perfect. That would be absolutely fantastic. We need more foot traffic. That's pretty much our choke point at this point. So hopefully we'll get a couple more people before we close. I don't know when we close. At 1900. But it's half past eight. What? What do you mean 1900? What restaurant closes at 7 p.m.? That is suicide. All right, this guy actually paid 80 bucks for a meal. What did he buy? Uh, stats. Uh, we don't know. We don't know what he bought. We can actually check the menu, though. What costs 80 bucks? Oh, I think he bought two meals. Jesus. What a guy, huh? Okay, um, we could, we're actually pretty close to being able to afford another, uh, storage space as well. So we'll do that tomorrow as kind of like a, um, a mandatory thing. Now we got, we got half of five star rating, which is actually not that bad. 20% uh, out of 100%, which is good popularity because that's actually what we started with. Um, pasta with whole pumpkin was cooked okay. It could have been done better. Well, that's not really my fault. Uh, Jensen gave us terrible service. Up yours. Uh, the menu lacked dishes that suited my tastes. They didn't have ingredients left to anything that suited my taste. Okay, we're definitely going to have to get some more storage then. That's, that's our choke. Uh, Yuki is really happy with her job. Hayley Woods is pretty... Average, I suppose, with what she's doing. No, these are most performed. I, I thought they were uh, most liked. Bevan is uh, pretty good, actually. I don't think we really need him right at the end of a shift or right at the start of a shift. I think we'll be okay. People are loving this pasta with a whole pumpkin. Yeah, pasta with whole pumpkin, 250 bucks. Woo! Fried cheese and butter sticks, also a, a cash cow. Ooh, tasty clams, uh, not so much a cash cow. Although it was, wait, what? Are the tasty clams 21% of what people ordered? Or is it 20% of our revenue? Because I'm looking at the total revenue here and this one is uh, 135 and this is 90 and they're, they're, they're the same meter. It's gotta be like what people ordered, right? Hot squid, someone ordered the hot squid. Let's, let's make sure the squid is really hot. Where's the hot squid? There it is. Uh, yeah, sauces and spices. We'll make this really, really hot chili powder. Uh, we'll make the fries really, really hot. <laughs> Cumin is also really hot. Jalapenos, hot. Or if you uh, grew up with uh, Trailer Park Boys, jalapenos. What else? I think that's pretty much all the spicy stuff here. Mustard can be kind of spicy, but 
It's weird because there's two kinds of mustard. There's the mustard that they have over in places like America and England where it's literally just like a bottle akin to ketchup or tomato sauce, as we call it here in New Zealand. But also here in New Zealand, our mustard is basically just like in a jar. It's the raw mustard seeds that are fermented. I think they're fermented. I don't know what else they would be because they're, uh, they're kept in jars and they're long life. But basically you take a teaspoon, you stick it on uh, food as kind of like a, a tiny, tiny little little thing. But a lot of people in other countries don't seem to like um, being able to moderate themselves. They much prefer excess, as we can tell by when Tom Hanks uh, tried our beloved Marmite for the first time. And he slathered it on like it was um, some kind of chocolate spread. And he bit into it and he said it was disgusting. He didn't even Google... He didn't even Google how to eat Marmite before he uh, tried to eat Marmite. Got an effort slider here too. Okay, so we should have more foot traffic today. A lot of people coming in. And I think we want to have a minimum wage as well of like three bucks. I don't get paid for some reason. Three bucks, yep. Uh, also, Haley, close to three bucks. Even though you're just a cleaner. Which actually is probably the most important job of a, of a kitchen. You don't, you don't clean a kitchen, uh, you don't get health and safety ratings, which means you can't be open. At least here, in New Zealand. I don't know what um, everybody else's OSHA restrictions are like, or work safe if you're still uh, in a backwards country. People are using the toilet, and they're not really complaining about people seeing them as well, which is also quite nice. Uh, what's this guy ordered? Is this the buttered cheese? Yeah, fried cheese and butter sticks. Uh, yuck. He's a fast walker. He'll be fast to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was literally going to sprint to the bathroom. Seems like we're actually doing pretty well. Uh, we've got two orders uh, coming up. I'm serving. These guys got two bowls of pasta with a whole pumpkin. That's quite impressive. This guy's standing up after eating a whole pumpkin too. And it's gone. He's making room for the pumpkin. Uh, Tasty Clams was cooked really badly. Tasty Clams was fairly priced for what it was. Okay, well, that's not so bad. Oh, so these are the requests. Okay. I thought they had grilled sardine on the menu. Tasty Clam was cooked really badly. This grilled sardine recipe created. What? We already have grilled sardine. Sardines are quite salty, aren't they? We should probably get something to kind of complement that. So, uh, how about salt? Uh, sardine cooked in salt, grilled in salt, and what else? Something else to complement its natural flavors. Uh, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, obviously. Which one has gluten in it? Soy sauce is... It, it can't have gluten in it, surely, right? I'm pretty sure it doesn't have gluten in it. That's fine. Um, what else would complement it? Vinegar. Yep, that's nice. Okay, done. Let's call it salted, cured, and... <laughs> And overcooked sardine. Done. Straight to the menu. That's cool, actually. I didn't know that if you click on this, you can actually uh, click create these menus. That's going to be very helpful in the future. We'll speed up time. We still need a bit more foot traffic, uh, which is a little upsetting. And I also think that maybe we should think about getting these things away from the uh, service window. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Uh, we'll move this kind of over here to face the fridge, I sp suppose. Actually, it's the last step in a lot of food, so we'll just have it over here. Uh, and we'll put this deep fryer on the other side facing the fridge, and this um, grill can stay there. Uh, or not. I'll put this grill over here, and I'll move that stove over there once someone's done using it. Okay, good. Let's do that now.
Someone's still using it. Guys, come on. <laughs> Cooperate with me. Or not. That's fine. I'm trying to move this thing out of the... Ah, here we go. Perfect. There we go. So they should be able to access this window perfectly now. We could probably start daisy chaining the common items together that we know we're going to need. For example, I think that having these uh, preparation counters here facing the window is going to be a really good idea. Uh, we seem to be doing pretty good when it comes to finances too. What's this? Basic clamps was cooked okay. Uh, they didn't have ingredients. Okay, look. Let's remedy this right now. We'll get another uh, storage. I kind of want to move this one over here. I can't. That's fine. Uh, we'll put the storage shelf right here. Boom, and we should be able to fit everything now. Food storage. Ah, oh, we're five off of the dry storage, but that is absolutely fine. That's just going to be like a spice or two. What's wrong, Yuki? Yuki? What? Go, go have a break. Also, what's wrong? Do you have food poisoning or something? What is wrong? Ah, oh, who gives a hoot? Who gives a hoot what's wrong with her? Uh, looks like we've uh, sold a gigantic um, thing of Kentucky fucking wings. Delicious. I kind of like the animations in this game. It does have a charm to it, doesn't it? Oh my god, am I dropping frames? I'm recording locally! That would be nuts, wouldn't it? I'll have to check later. Alright, um, if this video makes it to YouTube, you'll probably uh, see a couple of frame drops here and there, but I'm not entirely sure what I can do about that. Oh, I know, I probably need to clean my C drive, which I'll I'll do literally after this episode. So the next one should be fine anyway. There's an employee fire. This guy snuck into the back rooms. Uh, we'll get Jensen to come out here and talk with this lady. I've also just realized you can right click on people and talk with them. Which is also very cool. Uh, I've been waiting tables since I was 12 and now I'm 52. Get the picture? Jesus. Uh, we kind of actually want to pay her this much. You know what? We'll hire her and then we'll compare her to the other person who's also waiting tables. So who is it? It's just me. Oh, that's actually fantastic. Oh my god, she's good at this. Wow. Oh, fantastic. Let's get me off. Oh, don't, please don't take that out of context, anybody. I mean, let me, let's get me off the, um, the actual job. Okay, so what's her face is actually going to be doing great. I could probably assign myself to cleaner. I love the restaurant's aesthetics. It looks amazing. Well, aren't you easy to please? Uh, I am actually going to do that. I'm going to take my staff members. I'm going to take a look at whoever is the cleaner. Actually, who's cleaner in this end? Cleaning. Hayley Woods. Let's fire Hayley Woods. Because I'm pretty sure she's not cooking anything, which she's just a cleaner. Like, literally just a cleaner. You're fired. All right, and now I will take over all of the cleaning. I hate it. <laughs> Apparently I hate cleaning. Ah, oh, piss. That's fine. I'll just deal with it. It is what it is. Come on, just... Don't, don't take it too hard. Uh, go have a rest if you get to 50% threshold. I was pretty sure I changed that, actually. Oh, maybe it doesn't actually apply until you start the a new scenario. Yet to be seen. I am very pissed off, actually, that I am cleaning. Maybe I should be hiring somebody to clean. Nobody likes this restaurant. What? I hate cleaning. Okay. Uh, let's immediately take back the last decision we made and get me off cleaning, because I seem to just absolutely loathe it. Um... 
maybe we should hire someone then. We got three staff actually. Three of them are cooks. Oh, Kate was the one who waits tables, right? She doesn't hate cleaning. We'll just do that. Yeah, let's get, um, what's her face? Graham. Kate Graham to clean out this area. Because it doesn't really matter, does it? She's not doing anything anyway. Oh, apparently I'm still cleaning the kitchen. Whoops. Let's uh, remedy that. Okay. Right click was good enough. Yeah, this game does have quite a charm to it, and it is fairly intuitive to the controls. Basically, from what I can tell, it's, it's just The Sims. Because if you select someone and then right click on something, you can tell them to manually do stuff. Is this me? Why am I flipping my shit? I literally just stopped you. I can't. I can't send him home. Why am I getting into the, the front of house and yelling because we need more storage space? He doesn't even cook. He's not doing anything. Can I fire me? No. Empathetic genius, my ass. He hasn't leveled up once. I wonder if this is upsetting people. Yep, that's upsetting people. Okay. I have come to the conclusion that I am a dickhead. I'll tell you what, I'll move around this kitchen while no one's doing anything. I'll move this one uh, over here. Nice. And I'll move the stove right here. And I think this is actually going to be like a, a good base station. Dude, chill. Come on. Thank you. I'm going on a break. <laughs> I was so angry I feel sick. Did I just get a bunch of five stars? No, four stars. This is fine. I'm actually very happy with four stars. Am I sick? What's going on? Why am I... Why am I hobbled over like an old man? Why am I actually like myself? Where I, where I can't even, like, take a seat without my entire back cracking. Uh, Jensen brought the food to the table incredibly fast. I love the restaurant's aesthetics. Wonderful. Kate Graham brought the food to the table. Yeah, we know. Uh, fried cheese and butter sticks was cooked well. <laughs> Ooh, that's gross. We've increased our rating as well, which is uh, surprising. I don't think we need to analyze our finances because we're keeping a pretty good eye on what we spend anyway. Uh, we did fire somebody, which is nice. I don't know what my character is going to be doing now. Okay. We'll just go straight into the next day. The analytics aren't really too important at this point because I'm pretty sure that we know what we're doing. Uh, we could change the effort slider, but I don't really want to. I'm also getting recommended that I buy more of these um, appliances. But I don't particularly want to do that either. I mean, I probably could, but I'm not going to. Just yet. Uh, we could probably actually get ourselves some more storage as well. No. That's not what we want. Uh, we want to build another one of these storages. Storage shelf. Ah, it's 300 bucks. It's too expensive. It looks penny for us. What are these guys ordering? Let's see. Uh, I can't wait, I'm so hungry. Well, it has to be cooked. What, what did you guys buy? What's this? Oh, wonderful. Maybe I should be helping cook the food. Uh, but I don't particularly want to. That's the thing. I, I don't actually want to do it. All right, I got some food here. It looks like a big bowl of pasta with a whole pumpkin. In fact, there might have even been two whole bowls of pasta. Oh, no, this guy got fried butter sticks. Fried cheese and butter sticks. That's absolutely foul. Oh, this lady's got a funny shape to her neck. I don't really want to be a bully, but... but this is um something else. Oh, 
Okay, we're coming in hot. We're coming in hot and heavy with a bunch of dishes that we are actually quite proud to make. Uh, these people... It was a strange sound. I thought somebody just emptied their bowels into the deep fryer, uh, which may have actually improved the taste. We haven't changed the oil in this thing since we opened and it's been, what, three days? Yeah, that's, that's, that's not on. Uh, this guy is eating hot squid. I would highly recommend avoiding the chips. That is monstrously hot. Sir, is he going straight to the bathroom, do you think? I would. Straight to the bathroom? No. Very good. So we haven't given anybody food poisoning, which is funny. What are these people ordering? What is this lady wearing? Again, like, I don't want to get into the whole bullying mindset, but Jesus Christ. That's the uniform I had in the King of Retail series. That's insane, right? Just neon green and pink? Okay. We're actually, we're, we're making a bit. We're doing well. But I think we could probably do with turning these tables sideways and kind of laying them out this way. Instead of having them uh, sprawled out across the entire hall. That way we could probably get about six of these tables in. Even four. Oh. Party boy leveled up. Um, will improve the mood of nearby employees if anyone is close to their breaking point. That's probably a good one. Taking a break with other employees makes them happier. Don't care. We'll cook faster for the rest of the day if critical failure happens. Don't care. Let's get a calming presence. This party boy is now the most calming thing in the um, restaurant. Whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> oh, he's insane. He's also eating... Um, uh, some some deep fried butter and uh, and cheese. It's just gross. I feel like I should put myself in the in the back rooms because I'm not doing anything. I have literally no skill in any of these things, so that's probably actually detrimental to all of uh, what I want to do. I won't do it. I won't put myself in the back rooms. I don't think it's a good idea. Running low on butter. I can only prepare two more fried cheese and butter sticks. No! Okay, someone leveled up. I leveled up, thank God. All right, uh, attempt sent to stamina recovery. Extinguishes fires faster. Reduces the chance of appliances catching fire when cooking. Well, we're actually pretty onto it when it comes to the cleaning, so we're probably not gonna need these fire ones. Uh, we'll do the stamina recovery. Given that I had a huge mental breakdown yesterday. Uh, let's also get Kate to kind of clean this back room here as well. Because it's getting a wee bit a wee, a wee bit off. Get Kate on it. I think I'll go ahead and I'll speak myself into the cleaning. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. This is a good we set up we've got. Uh, Melanie Sullivan, I love the restaurant's aesthetics. It looks amazing. What a dance. Maybe we could put a cactus in the bathroom. That'll, that'll teach him. We are climbing in popularity. We've almost got the 50%, and uh, then we can increase the price of three dishes, and at that point, we win the uh, scenario. And all it took was one try. Why is no one cleaning this grill? This thing is a mess. Come on, guys. Do better. Clean it. There's a little icon here that says clean me. Just clean the fucking thing. Thank you. Good God. I don't like yelling at staff, unless it's Hernando, but uh, I will if I have to. <clears throat> okay, someone ordered a pasta with a whole pumpkin. I don't know who it's going to be. Why am I not serving these? Am I stupid or something? Oh yeah, I was just a little bit stupid. Okay. There's another one right here. That's, <laughs> that's like he just sprayed this man in the face <laughs> with a whisk work gun. That's funny. I love that. We're doing well. We're doing surprisingly well. 
The dry capacity is full. Uh, this is fine. The pasta with whole pumpkin was cooked well. I'm impressed. Pasta with whole pumpkin had a below average price. They're generous here. I love the restaurant's aesthetics. It looks amazing. Wow, this guy is just... Uh, this guy's nose is brown as hell, isn't he? He's getting right up in there. I've, I feel like I've, I've, I... I can feel his tongue in my colon, whoever that was. All right, awesome. We just served this man here, Grant Freeman. I'll say. Perfect. Uh, I provided excellent service. That's hilarious, because uh, I'm pretty sure I had a mental breakdown yesterday. Uh, pasta with whole pumpkin was cooked okay. It could have been done better. Eat shit, whoever this number seven was. Uh, the restaurant was decorated pretty well. I disagree. Pasta with whole pumpkin had a below average price. They're generous here, I'll say. Sorry, I'm just picturing having to eat a pasta with a whole pumpkin at this point. Uh, I'm going to fire into the next day, I think. What are our staff doing? Yeah, they're doing really good, actually. Uh, Kate Graham seems to be cleaning pretty much all the time. It's probably exactly what we want, despite the fact that she is insanely good at serving. In fact, I probably shouldn't be serving at all with her skills. Uh, but I, I literally can't do anything else, so it is what it is. Uh, pasta with whole pumpkin is, is selling like hotcakes. Uh, Tasty clams, also pretty good. Uh, fried cheese and butter sticks, also very good. Even though we've sold half the cheese and butter sticks than we did Tasty Clams, we're still making almost the same amount. Someone bought salted cured and overcooked sardine, uh, which gave us a little bit of a, an income, which is nice. Okay, we'll fire into the next day. We won't worry too much about these uh, analytics here. And we'll also uh, try and uh, kind of shift around this, this restaurant, I think. Like this. Yeah. Whoops. What? Why? Okay. This one can go here. This one can go here. We'll replace that one there. And then, ah uh, ha uh, ha, uh, evil laugh. We'll put this one here. Yes. We'll move this cactus over here. Yes. And then we'll put. A fancy wooden table right here so people have to eat together. <laughs> it's the perfect super spreader. We'll get some nice fancy chairs. We're not going to skimp out on um, this kind of quality. Uh, these are actually blocking the bathroom, so maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not either. Uh, let's move this one away slightly. There we go. I don't think it's going to block up too much of the... Um... Oh, no one can sit on this. That's funny. I'm pretty sure people can't use this door now. Man, this place is tiny, isn't it? Huh. Is this okay? This is fine, right? I mean, everybody can move around, so... Yeah, I, I think that's going to be fine. Uh, let's assign this table to... Oh, neat! It's copy-paste! Oh, that's neat! I love that! Great! Okay, we'll probably replace this table eventually as well with uh, something that's a bit less... Um, ugly, I suppose. Because people seem to really like their decor. It's a weird way of saying that word. The decor of the uh, tables and chairs over here. Uh, we're spending just a little bit extra on them, but it seems to make a big difference. Okay, uh, what's her name? Kate is spraying her cleaning products into the deep fryer while we're cooking with it, which is probably uh, lethal. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably going to take some lives, but uh, what do I care? Until we actually have somebody take us to court, it's probably not my problem. Uh, it's now snowing outside, which is fine. We're making a bit of money. I think here, the popularity is going to be more important. Uh, Yuki is leveled up. Yuki's out. Oh, customers will be willing to pay more. Hmm. While the employee is cooking, nearby's employee gain a bonus to their cooking. This is actually a tricky choice, isn't it? 
Because I, I really want customers to pay more. So I've picked it. Uh, movement speed, also she uh, we can give her another perk. Movement speed, 10%. Um, twice as fast if they're the only employee on something. No. Improves mood during uh, breaks is probably actually really good. Let's do that one. Also, Bevan leveled up. Uh, we've already given him a calming presence. Uh, let's just give him another calming presence. Because we're now stacking up perks on top of each other uh, to the point where people are basically not responding to anything. Look, um, I hate to break it, but uh, the hour is up. I, g I gotta end the episode. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry to everybody who was enjoying this series. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really want to upload three hour videos if I'm just going to be recording them in my room. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear out my C drive because I'm pretty sure I'm saving these to my operating system drive, which is an SSD and it's tiny because it only serves to function as um, in my operating system. So I'll go change that and I'll be right back. And uh, if you've made it this far, consider subscribing. I'll link the playlist to this series probably right over my face um about like uh i don't know like right here if you want if you want to click here you'll find the playlist for this series that you're currently watching and i'm i'm planning on beating it um if you want to click down here you can go and see my channel and you can subscribe to it uh it's, it's just down here the little the little round thing right here and up here playlist and until next time i love you and goodbye I wonder if I should keep the I love you in there.